Hayes Permar here at WRAL Soccer Center in North Raleigh. Now, what's better than playing in Moscow for the World Cup? Not going to Moscow and hanging out in Raleigh for a week and facing the Paraguay men's national team. That's what the U.S. men's national team is doing right now. They're practicing in Raleigh. Last night they were hanging out and seeing a Hurricanes game, although I'm not sure that's exactly the best way to treat guests. But we talked to one member of the U.S. men's national team who has spent some time here in the Triangle to talk to him about the team's stay here in Raleigh. A one-and-done player who went to UNC with the last name Lehigh? Sounds like something out of a Duke fan's nightmare. But actually, it's just U.S. men's national team and Nottingham Forest player Eric Lehigh, who was in Raleigh training with the rest of the squad for Tuesday's game against Paraguay when we caught up with him. Even though he spent a year in Chapel Hill, Lehigh doesn't really consider himself a true Tar Heel, though he did get to be an honorary Carolina Hurricane. Let's see how he handled Sports Channel 8's questions. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you about the Hurricanes game last night. We saw you playing soccer with some of the Canes guys. Are they any better at soccer than they are hockey? Oh uh, yeah, they're actually pretty good. They had their own environment. There's like poles hanging off the ceiling and they're just booting it off there. And they're, they're actually really good. I got knocked out uh, a few times. I never lasted the, the whole way. So it was, it was good fun, but uh, I, I've seen them um, Hockey players, they play always do like a little two-touch or juggling before games. They do it in Europe as well, and I've seen it. So it was just, it was fun to get involved. All right, and then you got to do the siren last night. Was yeah. that was that harder than you thought, easier than you thought? Did you have any tips on it going in? Um, they told me to work your way into it, and I, I think I blew up like seven seconds in it, but I just had to keep going. So gotcha. it, was, it, it was good fun. Probably one of the most American things to do. All right, you spent a year at North Carolina. Now, yeah. I know, I don't think you got on the field much, right? Were you injured for most of that year? Yeah, first preseason game, I broke my foot, so I didn't play. But there's a lot of talk in this part about the one and done movement in college basketball. Do you feel like you were kind of ahead of the game being a one and done guy in college soccer? Um, I, I never really thought of it that way, but I just had the opportunity to, to go to England and I just decided to take it and it worked out for me. Yeah, and uh, you went to IMG Academy and UNT. Um, who had harder classes for athletes? What do you mean, like academically? Yeah. Like UNC by far. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness, like ridiculously hard. Great answer. <laughs> I don't like you say that. Hey, I uh, saw recently that I think you did your wife have a challenge for you? Somebody had a challenge for you where you would get a dog if you scored a hat trick. Is oh, that yeah, it was, it was a. Well, I asked my wife if I could get a dog. It was about three years ago. And uh, she said, if you score a hat trick, you could get it. So, uh, but I scored, I scored two, and uh, there was a penalty that I was going to take, but we wanted to win the game, so I let another player take it. So she decided that it was enough, so I ended up getting a French Bulldog. Did you have to get a small dog just because it was two goals instead of three? Uh, no, she wanted a small dog, so whatever the wife says, I'll, I'll deal with it. I have a dog now, so I'm happy about it. Got you. And I saw you score a big goal against Arsenal in the FA Cup. Uh, did uh, did that make the American writers mad? Do, do you think they like you less because you scored against Arsenal? I have no clue at all. I just know I enjoyed it and I got a dog from it, so uh, I'm pretty happy about it. All right, couple other questions. Hey, you spent your whole career overseas. Do you have, do you have something against playing in, in America? Something against the MLS? Uh, n nothing at all. I just had, like I said, I had the opportunity to go to England at a young age, and and I, I enjoy it there. I really like the culture there and stuff, and uh, I had. I haven't had uh, much opportunity to come back. I haven't really had that much interest anyway. So and I enjoy it out there. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say that. You can bleed twice if it's about Trump. If that's well, how you're staying away. Um, I, I don't know. No. I'm going to stay away from that. Okay, excellent, <laughs> excellent. All right, and then after cool. seeing the Hurricanes play last night and give up six goals, you know, sort of like soccer, six goals, in, in, or no, seven goals, I think they actually got to. Do you think the NHL should consider uh, relegation like uh, like some of the leagues you play in? Um, I, I don't think any of the leagues will have relegation. I think it's, there's too much uh, money at stake and, and stuff like that. They just want to secure their leagues. And and uh, the way they do it, they sometimes have like a rebuilding stage where they hire up like younger uh, players in, in some of these uh, organizations. And you can see in the next three or, or two or three years, they, they build up to, to be something better. So it, it, there's some good and there's some bad. But uh, the the bad bit is like for the relegation last year, we are, uh, we had the one game left uh, for and if we lost it, we would have got relegated. And uh, it was a stressful time. I got, I got a few gray hairs in here, and I'm pretty sure it's from, a few of them are from that game. Do you think it's something, joking aside, do you think it's something the American soccer leagues you consider? Um, I, I definitely, it makes it more intense uh, for the players and the fans. It gives you something to play for throughout the year, because some teams, 
they can't make playoffs like uh, towards the back end of the season, they kind of like almost give up or I shouldn't say give up, but just like take it easy. They don't want to get injured and stuff like that. So with, with uh, the leagues over there, you, you can't take it easy for, for all games. So we have 46 in the season, so you can't take it easy at all. We talked a little bit about you being at UNC. I know it was just one year. Do you still consider yourself a UNC fan? Do you follow the team? Uh, I actually don't. I don't follow too many American sports, to be honest with you. I'm, a, I'm more uh, just a, a soccer guy over there. So, uh, um, But if I see them uh, do well and things like that, I'll, I'll always, uh, always see it. But I'm not... I guess a, a full and full Tar Heels only there for a year, but uh, it's nice to be back. I'll probably go visit the campus in the next few days. For Sports Channel 8 with the U.S. Men's National Team at WRL Soccer Center, I'm Pace Permar.